Welcome to another episode of Art That Place and Praise. Ginger here. I'll be working on an oil painting of a bunch of flowers and this is what it'll look like in the end. But even as I'm showing visuals of my painting process, like snippets here and there, what I really want to do is share something more intimate with you guys. My family and I went to a sunflower farm and in one of the huge tracts of land, I was surprised to see only one giant sunflower. Like in all the rows of bushes, there was this one that stood about 10 feet tall and I'm not sure if that particular variety already passed its blooming season or if the other buds haven't opened yet. For whatever reason, that flower was all alone. But as we moved further into the farm, more than 100 meters away, there were thousands more, there were a lot more huge sunflowers there and all the bushes were overflowing with bright yellow faces and it, it was so pretty and exciting to watch them sway with the wind. When I saw this, well something inside of me snapped. Maybe because I'm going through some personal crisis, but I suddenly felt sorry for that one flower that was left behind. I know it's silly, but I wanted to talk to the bushes and say, why did you leave the other guy alone back there? Like, why did you single him out and not keep him company? Like, why are you all here and not there with him? And that's when it hit me. Isn't this so much like our life too? There are days when life casts us aside, we're put on the shelf or on the back burner and we're sitting alone too. A lot of times we walk through paths that are filled with beauty on both sides. Left and right, all we see is success. We are surrounded by friends who appreciate us for our talents. We have families who love us and support what we do. We have all our basic needs met and we're coasting on easy street. Like we are at peace with our relationships we have and we are happy. We travel the world and get into emotional highs and we spend money like it will never run out. But there are times too when life takes a turn towards an ugly dirt road. Nothing blooms. We work diligently on our project but it fails. It just fails. We work hard for our dreams, but no one applauds, no one appreciates our effort, no one recognizes our talent. We fight tooth and nail to make the cut, but competition is just so fierce and somebody else gets first place. Or illness shuts us out from the company of friends and we're alone and depressed. Money ran out and the bills came in or relationships fall apart in a nasty way because of painful words exchanged which we cannot take back. Our life just looks like a modern day retelling of the book of Job or Lamentations. Whatever bad turn or bad break we face, the end result is the same. We're, we're like that sunflower in the left field. We feel like life casts us aside in an isolated place. But friends, let me tell you this, it's not your fault that your life turned crummy, so don't beat yourself up for being in a dark place. God put you there, and He has a good reason for it. For Him, the place of emptiness is a place for maturity. God has to plant a seed in you, but before growth happens, He has to make your soil empty first. Being cast aside is a holy thing too, you know. It's a place where we learn the best of life's lessons. It's where we take stock of ourselves and learn from our mistakes. That alone place is a place of healing. It's where we can shut out the noise of the world and in that silence, we can better listen to God. For it's only when we're in pain, when we're broken, or when we fail, that's the only time we are more attuned to listen. Believe it or not, God speaks and consoles all the time, that's for sure. But our ears are plugged to louder music, so God's volume is tuned out. It's only when we're at the end of a rope, hopeless and helpless, that 
that's the only time we are more open to hear and to receive. So it's good to be cast aside in one corner once in a while because it's a holy place. Don't despise the moments when you're not flowing along with the crowd. God Himself put you in detention because He is working something great in you and He needs your full, undivided attention. Don't feel bad. Soon your path will change. You'll walk out of the dirt road smiling at all that God has done to bless and surprise you. He will amend you and give you back more than you lost. If you stay the course and hang on tight till the end, time will come. Your road will be filled with new blooms again, more than just sunflowers. There will be dahlias and roses too. God will bring you back to the mainstream of life and restore what's broken. And when you least expect it, your efforts will pay off. The dreams you were ready to throw out the window will suddenly make a breakthrough. Your labor will not be wasted because people will notice something different in you. Maybe it's your integrity or your forbearance or your humility. People around you will notice the change in your attitude and say, Hey, this guy isn't bad after all. But even if your best still falls short of everyone's expectations and no one in your social media world is impressed, remember, God is impressed and His opinion is all that counts. So friends, I encourage you to wait it out. Appreciate the moments you've been cast away alone in your dark space. God will surprise you and reverse the direction of your journey when He's done fixing what's broken. Just believe. Because when you've been down for so long, my friend, life can only get better.